2023 Old Mutual Wealth Double Century. Proudly brought to you by Old Mutual Wealth. The Old Mutual Wealth Double Century is a race like no other. A 202 km time trial along the beautiful roads of the Oberberg, Klein Karur and Breda River Valley. It's a celebration of teamwork and partnerships, of grit and determination, of commitment to the long term. And nobody exhibits those characteristics more than the title sponsors. It's very difficult to put in words the value that Old Mutual Wealth have brought to this event. Uh, they're, they're not a partner. They're completely vested in the event. They're vested in the athletes. Um, they're committed to ensuring that the experience that we give the athletes is just one level higher every single year. I mean, this wonderful background we have uh, that people do photographs of was an initiative that they brought in. The wonderful vests, the tools we got last year, they're, they're, they aren't a sponsor. They're, they really do live the event with us, and that's so important. And the fact that the, the head of Old Mutual Wealth is actually going to be riding the event uh, is, is that much more special. Uh, and not only that, Old Mutual Wealth CEO Ian Williamson will be here. So to Fahad Sada in, in Williamson and to your entire team at Old Mutual, a huge hats off. It really is an incredible event that you guys have come a long way with us. After months of training and preparations, the teams of 12 were setting out in the pre-dawn glow for their big day out on the bike. The more social early starters were first off the line at short intervals. Among those early starters were three celebrity teams from Wintergreen, which included chef Jan Bry and other friends of the race. Beautiful day in Swellendam, obviously in the most beautiful country in the world, South Africa. And what a privilege to be surrounded here with a lot of passionate cyclists and South Africans. Looking forward to a wonderful day out on the streets and the roads of the Western Cape. Yeah, this is a great event. This is uh, an event where kind of friends get together uh, once a year. We all look forward, forward to it. We train a little bit, and uh, but it's about having a good time with uh, old friends. So it's not uh, always fun being on a bicycle for nine hours, you know, but. Uh, when we have this kind of camaraderie, it makes it so much easier, it's so much more fun, sure. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so I think I've got about six or seven on my name now. Um, what brings me back is I'm, I'm a sucker for punishment. So I just love coming back for that punishment, but also the swelling down fierce, the people here, the fierce on the road. And just everything about this race is great. Not every day you can stand on the podium like Tour de France as well. So that's, that, that brings us back every single year. So I believe Old Mutual Wealth has been doing it now for the last two or three years. Um, and this, like I said again, the podium style here is nice. The, the stage, stuff like that. The gears and everything, the setups, the, the race packs and everything is just really brilliant what they've done. I hope we host this thing for many, many more years to come as well. The early kilometres take the teams out of Swellendam towards the east along the broad National Highway before turning onto quieter district roads and descending into Subrak, one of the quaint country villages the route visits. Months of hard work had gone into preparing and repairing the roads ahead of the event too. A lot of work been happening on the route over the last couple of days and we're really pleased with the way the roads department have come out. But provincial, local and regional. So um, it's looking good. From a rider experience point of view, uh, I abide by the motto of let's start slow and finish slower because there's nothing worse than overcooking it at the start of this event and having nothing left at the end. So my advice to, to those heading out is enjoy the day. It's a beautiful route. So if you're not racing and you're not going for a podium, actually enjoy the incredible countryside that you are riding through. It's some of the most beautiful, beautiful sights the Trudeau Pass that we're going to be going over is spectacular. The Jacarand is in full bloom as you head down the Robertson Wine Route with the canners, the red and the yellow canners that you're going to see across the Roybruch at the back of the Breda River with it uh, meandering along on your left hand side. It's just stunning. It takes the pain away after 180, 190 k's. The Old Mutual Wealth Double Century, what they put into town, into the people, you know, they spend their money here, they use local suppliers for everything. Um, so no, it is very important, it's a, it's an event that we're looking forward to. I think it's been grown 
um, tremendously over the last few years. Um, we're very happy and, and thank you. And we just want to say thank you for guys bringing the Devil Century here. It's going to be hopefully here for the next 100 years. Long before I'm uh, uh, gone, it's still going to be here. So it's fantastic. The vibe is good. Uh, everybody's happy. It's good to be uh, swell and dumb. It's good to have you guys here. It is fantastic as always. After an easy departure from Swellendam, the climbing and the challenge of the route kicks in with the iconic Trudeau Pass. Snaking through the Langeberg Mountains, it takes teams from the lush green of the Overberg into the more arid interior and the Kleinkeruhr. Built by Thomas Bain and named for the original footpath through the mountains, which the Khoi dubbed the Women's Path, it's a highlight of the day. I was just chatting to the mayor now and he's got a big smile on his face. They've had a tough year here in Swellendam and of course it's an event like this that boosts the economy, uh, brings cyclists from around the country and probably around the world. I'm not sure of how many uh, international riders are here but I'm pretty certain they do come because it's such an amazing ride. Um, and it just adds to those uh, amazing cycling events that we have across the province. But the Double century, the old mutual double century has got like a different, it's a different layer, it's a different, it's a different brand, it's you know, the, the, the kind of, uh, I don't want to say the word elite, but it's, it's like at a different level and you know, people sort of, you do the double century, it's just like, oh, it's, a, it's, it's just that little bit tougher and it's built this brand over years and uh, yeah, it's amazing. But I always think Trudeau Pass is, is just the most amazing, especially when the sun's coming up in the morning and you're going up that pass, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Keeping a team together throughout the course is no mean feat, especially as individuals within each squad climb and descend at different paces and get distracted by old friends on other teams as well as by the stunning views. To get together to ride with all our friends for 200 kilometres to talk a bit of nonsense, to end the year off on a high note. It's the best part of the year for us as, as individuals, as cyclists, as people who like to exercise, to get together in this environment is just next level. Swellendam, they opened the town to us. They really, they really put on a good show and they have done for a number of, of years now. Um, and it's the most beautiful course to ride, the most beautiful country to look at. And it's a great way to, to touch sides with all our friends and to spend a bit of time in the saddle and lots to talk about. Once on the rolling R62, having turned west from Barrydale towards Montague, the teams could exhibit their time trialling prowess. Racing to go further together, as in the old mutual wealth philosophy, as outlined by Managing Director Fahad Seder. The further together principle uh, is about the old saying, you know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far then you go together and uh, that just aligns to the philosophy of our business um, we believe in teamwork our business uh, is built on the foundation of partnership and trust and um, the ethos that we see in the double century it's a, it's a race you can only succeed in if you partner as a team and uh, that is why we thought it's uh, it's something that we wanted to bring through because it resonated with us. The double century is special for a number of reasons. Uh, it's the only race of its kind in, in the country. Um, but for me personally, I think it's the fact that it's a team event, um, which again is, aligns very much to the philosophy of our business around being successful through teamwork. Uh, and then apart from the race, you know, it's, it's over the weekend at the end of the year, people looking to get into the right mood and frame of mind for the holiday ahead. Um, it's just, it's the experience around the event itself that comes together and brings people together outside the race. For me, that's ultimately what it's all about. The experience of the race is made better and the challenges more manageable by the refreshment and feed stations. The first significant one is located atop Op de Trudeau. Powered by Food Lovers Market and Peninsula Beverages, it helps get riders from the highest point of the day to the first team support zone in Ashton. While the social teams were well underway, the racing squads were lining up and raring to go. Yeah, everyone is excited. It's a big, a cool teams combination with a lot of experience in South, in South African history. And uh, yeah, 
everyone is excited. Yeah, obviously it's a bit late in the season, it's literally our last race before before everyone takes a break. So yeah, I think everyone is scraping the barrel in, in sense of uh, top form. But uh, yeah, I think uh, with experience and uh, the deep fitness in our group, we'll pull through. Obviously, I think it's, it's just about starting starting with a pace that you know you can, can keep up with for, for the literally for 200 k's and not blowing your guys too early. And then I think we will calculate as we go if we get down gaps, whatever, if we have to increase or decrease. And yeah, I think rider comfortable, very really fast pace for the first 100, and then yeah, then we have to calculate if we pick up or or we have to keep that that gap to the other teams. I, I, I don't know, we didn't have too much of a look at the other teams' sense of yeah, we didn't want to force ourselves to ride ride against them. We're riding the race and riding for time, you know. So, but there's definitely strong teams, strong combinations. And uh, yeah, you can never underestimate uh, teams in this race. Uh, your team can blow up and uh, you can be stuck with five riders with the last 20 k's and the other oaks that were very consistent through, they can pull through. So yeah, obviously we just, yeah, we look after ourselves at the moment and try to ride as fast as possible. Riding as fast as possible means utilizing the strength of the team, not the firepower of lone superstars. Though with road cycling teams in South Africa not boasting massive squads, the selection of guest riders is also key. Uh, so, so our DC prep starts, starts quite a while in advance, obviously securing our, our guest riders. Um, so yeah, our, our prep starts a few months out and if you uh, come in here with the strongest team, you will definitely have a good chance. So we always start, get the best team you can with some strong guys and uh, you'll definitely be in there with a fight. So yeah, we had, we had uh, a few of our DMS boys, Sufo and uh, uh, quite a few of our, our mountain bike riders uh, from Cape Town, uh, quite a few old season dogs. So we had a, we had a, a very, very good team. Um, yeah, we, we set out from the gun to obviously push the pace. Uh, we know how to do this. Uh, all of us have done numerous uh, double centuries. Uh, so yeah, I think we've, we've, we've got it done. Over the first half of the course, the top men's teams raced hard, but remained disciplined sticking to their plans. Keeping all 12 team members together for as long as possible would be key, especially with the probability of headwinds on the flat roads later. A helping hand from the strongest riders in each squad on the Trudeau or Op de Trudeau climbs may pay off later with another body to battle the wind. Taking the fight to the defending champions DMS and co were Matthew Troutman's Rolier Tritons Racing, East City Cycles, Freewheel Psychology and LPC, who boasted Little Trek's World Tour rider Jasper Stoyven in their ranks. In the women's race, the Pace Line team were the squad to watch. But as Taryn Povey explained, race day success requires a lot of preparation behind the scenes. Firstly, sponsors obviously for us make a big part of it to get everyone looking good, staying in the same place, which is always helpful, um, and to get the girls on board, keep, keep us fed, etc, etc. But then it's 12 girls, let's be honest, it's herding cats. Um, but we, we did a good job, we got the 12 that we wanted. Half of our team um, is riding for pace line during the year, so it meant that we just needed to find six fantastic girls to add on. And, and we did a good job to do that. Most of us are all friends, we've known each other for years, so it helps us gel and work together as a team. Um, I, think, I like to think of it as a bit of a rugby game, that's whatever's set out on the road, gets forgotten as soon as we cross the finish line. It helps if we cross the finish line first. Beyond the racing, there was excitement in the women's field for the team from the Matsumela Ladies Cycling Clinics. Twelve first-timers would be aiming to finish together. Quite an exciting uh, double century, particularly um, because um, there will be 12 Matsumela ladies um, that will be attempting um, double century 200 kilometers for the first time. I think I'm quite confident because they all want it. Um, the training started in May, the whole idea of we doing this, and we had our big brother Mike, who was um, the coach and coaching the ladies through this. And I think the whole work has been done. Yes, the nerves is, the, is there um, in the camp, but they're quite excited that they are going to finish and get their medals. So Matsumela Ladies is actually going for the Charles Milner medal where 12 of the ladies actually finished together so that is what we are very much excited about this would be no small feat as it requires maintaining a cohesive team structure throughout a nine to ten hour ride 
far more experienced squads have failed at securing Charles Milner medals, yet there was no dissuading the Matsumela ladies from their goal. No, I think we learned a lot last year. We were super prepared and um, it was such a beautiful day. I think out of, the, out of the two that we've done and the three that we've entered, this has been the best weather um, and it's so well organized. It's just such a pleasure to be part of the, the event. I think, I think there's so much strength in being in a team, you know, and if you practice together and you understand your strengths and weaknesses, you can play to all of them. We've got girls that are strong on the flats and then we've got girls that are strong on the climbs. Um, and then we, we're also in a way lucky enough that there's, there's a, a natural differentiation between all the paces, um, but there seem to be sort of like two groups that can stay together. So at least we have six and six, and then you know you're stronger together. So it really helps, um, yeah, just getting everyone across the line. And the team dynamics is great. It's so nice, you know, the night before, the week before, to share the nerves rather than having them on your own. We actually, we were, we were great. I think six weeks before we like started training really um, uh, religiously, but before that we, you know, you you have to organize yourself for this event so far in advance that you start you start riding together you start understanding your team dynamics you start inviting people to to be part of the team getting to know each other you go for wine you go for dinner it's um it's good fun and yeah uh, yeah nothing nothing too crazy you just want to make sure you get the distance on your legs and on your bum despite the hard work in training and preparation by Ashton and the first team support zone, the majority of the squads were starting to feel the effects of the heat, roads and pace. Fortunately, there was time there with an enforced neutral zone to refuel and refresh to rejuvenate for the second half of the course. Back on the bike, the Brilla River Valley was alive with colours, green vineyards, red cannas and purple jacaranda blooms. But there was no time to soft pedal and take in the views for those targeting a fast finish. I think we rode a sub uh, six hours for this DC. And um, yes, everybody contributed. The weather was fantastic. This is an awesome event. It's one that we've done so many times and every time we come here, it's a different experience completely. Um, the organization is awesome. The Gears is incredible. If you've got a very good captain and he knows everybody's strengths and weaknesses, uh, he calls the shots as to who does the work and where they do the work. Um, in our case now, we had a very well-balanced team. Not everybody was on the same level, but everybody had their strengths. So it was easy, I was the captain, and it was easy for me to, to, to indicate who needed to be working at what point and who needed assistance at what point. So we had some strong riders that could assist the, the, the ones that were taking a little bit of strain at the end. And yeah, we did very well. We're happy with our result. And uh, yeah, no, I hope we can do many, many more double centuries in the future. After the Ashton team support zone, the top squads had time checks to ride to and DMS and co. This year, I think we we kind of had it down the, to who our competition was. Uh, and then, yeah, that obviously helps us quite a bit. Uh, if, if you know who you have to beat. Uh, so we kind of marked them at the checkpoints. We knew we were ahead, uh, so we took it a little bit easier and had a, a fun day out. No, uh, today was a very, very tough day. Um, I think we were a little bit slower on the first stage with a lot of the headwind. Um, but the boys paced, paced uh, each other quite well. Um, and yeah, it was, it was an amazing day out. Oh, super tough, um, but it's, this race has always been tough. Uh, if, if you come here for, for a joyride, it's not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, the, the roads were perfect. The conditions were, were good, apart from the little wind. And uh, yeah, obviously, thank you to all the sponsors, Old Mutual, for hosting a superb event. Reinhard Janse van Rensburg, Keenan Root, Gustav Passon, Willy Smit, Gert Haynes, Jakob Fenter, Chris Joester and Eric Cross stopped the clock in a time of 4 hours, 49 minutes and 43 seconds. They were joined on the podium by the private client holding squad. Not only did Haley Preen's team finish third overall, but they resoundingly won the mixed category too. Yeah, I was very happy with the team going into it and I was really looking forward to it. And the goal was, for me at least, to podium overall, and we succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, our men in the team were absolute champions, pushing and pulling and just rotating when we were sitting at the back. We would also work a bit, um, but yeah, they were really champions. And then 
yeah, I came down to the last couple of hills and we knew we were on track for a really good time. Also to be 33 seconds off sub five, that's I think a, a bit annoying for us, but uh, we're happy. The Paceline team rode home strong, having kept 10 women in the group to Bonnyvale, as Taryn Poby explained. We actually managed to get it together at 160, so we started from the lunch point with, I think, 10 riders, which we were very, very happy about because we needed it, meant we could work together until that last bit. Only dropped down to six in the last 15 kilometers, which is a position you want to be in, um, with the others not so far behind, so if something did happen, we were still going to make it. The social teams were less rushed to get to the finish as they soaked up the beauty and the camaraderie. Could you have asked for a better day? Slight breeze just to take the edge off the heat, a little bit of cloud cover, great friends, all on a bike around a beautiful countryside. It could not get better than this. Going well. Team's probably the nicest team ride I've had with the team in my 23 years of riding. Team's been together. We've been into both water points as a full unit. Uh, it's been fantastic. So now it's just a matter of six little climbs to the finish. Yeah, it feels like we've had a bit of a, 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 a sort of a tailwind for most of the way. So it's been a really, really nice day. One of the best in terms of weather conditions we've had. And the pacing in about, from our, our leaders on the front has been perfect. This water point came right in time and we needed it. So now we've just replenished all our electrolytes and everything. So we're ready to rock and roll and head on to Swelling Down. So these events don't happen without serious partnerships. So we've obviously got Old Mutual Wealth, but we have a number of other key partnerships that make this event the very special event that it is. Peninsula Beverages Coca-Cola. Where would we be without a nice cold Coke at the end of an event like this, or a Powerade at one of those all important water stations? Food Lovers Market came on board a number of years ago. Uh, Pre-COVID, they switched it up during COVID uh, and they really have taken it up to a completely different level. The rider experience when it comes to the food offering, the bry hampers that are given and, and again it's all about adding value for the riders. It isn't just about giving away free stuff, it's about giving away stuff that's important and adds value in the experience that the riders have. We've uh, entered it for a number of years, we've been involved in the Double Century. Um, it's one of the few events we do sponsor. But this year was great, weather was fantastic, uh, it, was, it was really fun. Uh, we try and finish 12, um, so we've done that, I think out of the four times I've done it, we finished three times all 12, or at least twice we finished all 12, so it's an effort to try and finish 12 and you get all the oaks over the finish line, do a bit of pushing, so yeah, so for us it's a, it's a fantastic event. For us, the, the nice thing about the event is you have the slow guys start first and the fast guys last. So it's one of the only events that I know where you're all finishing together and you're not finishing when everybody's gone home and the car park is empty. So, so that's the nicest part about it for us. All our three brands are involved in it. So Seattle is one of them. We, we have a Seattle uh, a cart there which we do all the coffee. And then Food Lovers is also involved in it. So I think we do the water points and the water points are great. And in fact, there was so much food this time. You didn't have to carry food. Um, and then we have Fresh Top, um, which is the Caltex convenience store brand. And um, we give away the bribe packs. Um, so that's on the day you finish, you get the bribe packs. So you don't have to worry about going to go shop. You get this lovely bribe pack for your team. So every year it seems to get bigger and bigger. Um, but we quite enjoy it. And it's, it's, as I say, it's one of the few that we do sponsor. And um, no, it's, uh, it's, it's great to be involved in it. Great to be involved, but even better to finish the old Mutual Wealth Double Century. To roll back into Swellendam and receive the applause of the supporters and know that a significant challenge was overcome, with memories made on the road which will last a lifetime. Every finisher and every team were celebrated as heroes, though of course there were the victors who took home the spoils of racing success too.
With the race completed and medals awarded, it was time for celebrations. Until November 2024. See you again in Swellendam for the Old Mutual Wealth Double Century.